So now that we've got our complete PHP um, file ready to go, um, what we're going to do is we're going to start uploading it to our server space. So we just need to save it. Make sure you save it with some intelligent uh, name. Don't call it something idiotic. Um, I would suggest something that relates to the query that the page is actually running. So in this case, I would name it, say, um, something like, let's go save as. And we'll give it a name like um, division C underscore query. Okay, now that gives me some information about what it does um, and what kind of information it's going to return. Okay, so I should be able to save that. Um, and what I'm also going to do is I'm going to create a new HTML file. Um, just a new HTML file. And oh, that was unexpected. What's going on here? Um, let's delete that. We'll go file, new, HTML. Oh, and that's the way. Create. Um, and I'm just going to put in a heading. This is a test file, and I'm going to create a link href to um, my other file, my query file. So this is going to be how I run my query. I'm going to click on this link, and it's going to open up um, the query file. So it was called division c underscore query dot php so that's what it's going to open up and link to the database just to check if it's working okay so this is a test file and this is just going to be um, obviously this is not going to be how you do it in your final assessment this is just a test that this is working yeah um, in your final assessment this link will be part of your navigation. You will have something that allows you to select a particular query that you want to run, um, and it will be part of your navigation, and uh, and that's how you will, will do it. So I want to save this, and I'm going to save it for this testing purpose as index.html. This is the first page on my site, the index page. That's what we call our first and primary page, is the index page. Um, and I'm going to upload both of those files to my server. So here's my uh, server. Um, I'm going to upload these files. So let's see if we can't find them. Let's go. Where have I saved them on the documents? Teaching 2014, 12DTM. And so there's index, and there is division C query. So I should be able to upload those query and index and click tick and that's done I can go home and there they are there's index and division C query HP ah, sorry PHP so what I'll be able to do now when I go to my um, my home page I should see, yeah, this is a test file and then the link to the database and I'm going to click on that. Shock horror, um, something is going wrong. So this will be something that you'll have to battle with um, on your own. There is a bit of an error in my code. So I needed to go through and just kind of figure out how and why it wasn't working. Now I found three errors. They're all pretty minor, but they will trip you up and there's worth being aware of. The first is my while loop. You can see here I've got an opening bracket. I come along, I've got an opening bracket for the MySQL fetch array method, a closing bracket for that, but I've got no closing bracket for this bracket for this first one. That is an error and has caused me problems. The second um, issue is MySQL is the old version. You see up here we're going MySQL I connect and it should be MySQL I fetch and MySQL I query. Okay, those three things are 
are, are what is responsible for this being blank. Those three minor errors. So you just need to be really careful uh, when you're coding and when you're checking. And if it's not working, what I recommend is getting a buddy over and just saying, hey, will you look at this code for me? It's not really working, but I don't really know why. And a fresh pair of eyes can be all the difference. So instead of staring at the screen for hours and hours um, and figuring out and not knowing why it's not working, um, get somebody in to give you uh, a bit of a hand. And one more thing, if you use this file when it's not working and you replicate it for multiple queries, like if you go file, save as, okay, I'm just going to change the query a little bit and this will be this query and then I'll create it for another query. That small error that um, has been multiplied across multiple files. Yep, so you need to get one query working perfectly, working absolutely perfectly before you start going file, save as and using it as a template for other queries. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit save and I'm going to come to my uh, to my page and reload it. And you'll see that my information is coming through in an unformatted table. Yeah. Perfect. Brilliant. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm on the first big step um, to getting this done. Obviously, when I click, when I, as your teacher, click on your website, I don't want it to go to a white web page with an unformatted table. I want you to incorporate these results into your website in a way that makes sense. So when I look at your website's index page and it's beautifully designed, and then I click on a query, the query page should also be beautifully designed. Okay, and you can do that by using a template getting that first page, that index page, that main page, get that designed and finished first and foremost. First of all, get that done and then use it as a base or a template for your subsequent plate, uh, pages. But congratulations on getting that all done. That's looking good. Our first query is finished.